now in the top half of the sixth. Walker. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up and it's one and one. Two things pitchers really love called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that. Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. The one and two pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball one gone. Striding in once again Miguel Andujar. Here comes the first pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0 1. On, could we see another strikeout here? It's 0 2 now. Two quick strikes and now the 0 2. Mind to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. In today's game, with so many shifts being deployed on a day-to-day -day right. basis, for Number a batter to stay tall and drive a backdoor breaking ball the other way, fires me up. Into the box, number 25. Curve ball bounces, and this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Swing and a soft liner. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, Nero. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong. He's Able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice AB. Soft liner towards center and a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. The throw to third. And this will get in there too late. He's in there at third. Hey, Dero, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles and a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing them softly, station to station with those knocks. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Gardner has accumulated just over 1,100 hits over his big league career. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Behind a changeup, if you can imagine, for a strike. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. Throw to second will be in time, but the run's going to come in and score. On to first, but not in time. He beats it out to keep the inning alive, and the run is in to score. Ready for another chance? Aaron Judge He's working on a one for three thus far. Down the first baseline, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's two. Stepping in and ready for another shot. JT Real Muto. He'll try and do what he can to work for cutting into this big deficit. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Right down Main Street caught him looking. Ready for another shot now. Brian Anderson. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. But 
looks at a changeup right over the middle. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Now the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Digging in once again, Miguel Rojas. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he gets ahead 0-1. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does he take a step back and relax a little bit, or does he call a team meeting right after this one? Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Welcome back to South Florida. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him. And hey, that's part of the game. Here's Didi Gregorius as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Breaking ball in for a strike. Obviously looking to pull the baseball right there out in front on that off speed pitch. This will be an interesting sequence right here to see if he slows him down even more or tries to run a heater by him. Check the swing there, and Larry Bullard says he held up just enough. Ball one. Stanton gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Started the chase there. He'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Brinson. Makes the play one away. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gary Sanchez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. He's set and the pitch. Fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Comes set and the 0 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Runners on first with one down. Sliced hard on the ground. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. Doesn't matter if it's 0 2 2 0, he's locked. He has great bat to ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, D Row, of being able to get the barrel of the ball, and this is one of those guys. Here's Neil Walker. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's two for three and looking for more here.
back-to-back -back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there, fouling it away. Do not expect a third. Ready with the 0-2. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets through. But eventually does get to third base. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. Ready once again. Number 25, number 25. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. First pitch on its way. Hit the other way out toward right field. Anderson giving chase. He's got it. And they get out of the jam unscathed. Yankees lead. And that'll bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson. Leading off for the Marlins. Center fielder, Lewis Brinson. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the New York Yankees, number 30, David Robertson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is foul right side. Now the 0-1. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. A pause and the 0-2. And this is chopped foul with the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. And the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle right, curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than a traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. One ball, no strikes to count. That's inside. 2-0. and oh. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. He's one for two. Takes a high fastball for a strike. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Gregorius is there, and there are two away now. The left fielder, now back to the top of the lineup, Derek. stepping in, Derek Dietrich. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. Swung on and missed. And that's the final out of the inning. Miami down in order. They trail big. Nick Whitgren comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. So here now. Now's the pitcher, David Robertson. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Hit out towards second. Backhanded. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Here's Brett Gardner now. First pitch on its way. 
Just got a piece of the fastball that time as it's chopped foul at the plate for strike one. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Well, as a leadoff man, the team looks for you to get on base any way you can. This isn't the preferred route, at least for him, but hey, they'll take it. Here's big Aaron Judge as he'll reach for one and come up empty for the first strike. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. A one pitch on its way. And a great change of pace has him off balance a swing and a miss. Hey last pitch was 94 then you pull the string 13 miles an hour slower right there. 81 miles an hour you get guys in a rocking chair when you can add and subtract like that in the dirt and he'll just beat the throw to second he's in there and forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch and I think that's the case of the pitcher being a little too preoccupied with the speed at first he lost focus on making the pitch and throws an absolute scud the irony of course is the runner's now on second, and he didn't even have to steal. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. How about it? Up Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he takes ball one. May have gotten a piece of that one, but no matter, it's one and one. Gardner at second with two down. The one two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Got to believe that was a mislocation because it missed right down the middle. This guy's going to have nightmares at the plate thinking about missing that one. Hard hit ball to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Ready now for the Marlins. Martin Prado. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. It doesn't look very promising so far this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Judge is there, one away. No matter, Here's Starlin Castro. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Not too often do you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. And he'll reach second now with one away. This game might be over for all intents and purposes, but somebody forgot to tell this guy. He's a grinder, and he's going to approach every at bat like it's his last. Does it again here and delivers a double into the gap. Standing in now, Justin Bohr, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. One out and a runner on second base. On they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now. Love that pitch as long as you actually get it inside like he did right there the cutter inside is a very effective pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Here's the one and two delivery. Missed with a breaking ball. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate. And the count holds at 2-2. Two and two. Another try at 2-2. Two -two. 
And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. 1-0 oh, the count. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. 1-1. One and one. Robertson pauses. 1-1 one, one on its way. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Two out here and a runner at second. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Brian Anderson would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Now the three and two pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The three, two, one more time. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. Now the famous neon of Ocean Drive in Miami Beach. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Breaking balls in for a strike. The 0-2 is a breaking pitch taken for a ball one and two. Definitely not what you're trying to do here. 0 and two with a curveball. You see a lot of guys elevate a fastball like that in this situation, but a curve like that is just asking to get punished. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. Swing and a ground ball to third. Here's Castro for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Up next for the game. Digging in the switch hitter, Neil Walker. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Swing and a miss as Walker's in a hole here. No balls and two strikes. And now a pitch on the way. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Digging in to try it again. Brian Anderson starting. The bottom of the ninth inning for the Marlins. Right fielder, Brian Anderson. Your attention, please. Now pitching for New York, number 56, Jonathan Holden. First pitch of the at bat. No balls in one strike. Now the 0 1. High fly ball out to deep right field. Judge ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Up next for Miami, Miguel Rojas. He went down on strikes last time up. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up next for the Marlins. Now at the plate, Lewis Brinson. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. That pitch was right down the heart of the plate, but obviously this guy had made up his mind on the on-deck circle. He was taken all the way, and he was going to zone him up. And this goes right past him. It's short. Yeah, I'm not sure. This ball might have caught him in between hops. He looked unsure which way to turn his glove, and the next thing you know, it's by him. Number three will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. Andujar is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over.
nine to one is the way this one ends. The Yankees took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. 